Hey y'all, I'm back with another book review. So I finished Brennan Manning's The Furious Longing for God. Um, and I have to say I was a little skeptical, like always, um, starting a new author. Um, but of course, once I started him, I was like, oh my gosh, she's brilliant. Um, but more along this long, long lines, wow, um, is like, the opening is like, this is part of my story, blah, 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 blah. But this isn't the whole story. And like he explains like he was homeless. He wasn't homeless. He was an alcoholic. He wasn't an alcoholic. He was a priest. He wasn't a priest. Like, like it was very interesting of how he introduced himself and how he, um, how he's like, this is my story, but it's not the whole story. And I just, I loved just the way he introduces. That is probably my favorite part of it. Um, I love how he uses scripture and how he like, I don't know, really brings home the point like with different things. Like he does, this is just totally not even based upon the book. This is just like a structural thing. I love when there's big quotes or big verses like this because they let me be like, oh my gosh, that's important. Maybe I should remember that. I don't know, that's just my personal opinion. But I really um, just love the way that he wrote this and just love the way that he writes. It was super easy, like an hour and a half, two hour read. Um, and I really just enjoyed it and I would probably definitely read it again. Um, it's not like hard hitting, but it's still like great. And like, well it is hard hitting, it's just not like... It's not hard hitting where it makes you consciously think, overthink, like, um, C.S. Lewis, I love him to death, but he does make you like really, really think about things. And it was just nice to just have teaching rather than just like really having to think about stuff. And he still makes you think, but not like as intensely as C.S. Lewis or, um, not Richard Rohr cause Richard Rohr is in another category to my my brain um but like oh my gosh his name is in like oh merton thomas merton totally makes you over like really really think about stuff in um the saint paul or saint um augustine but both of which are like really make you think saint paul is one of the apostles just so we're clear but like they really really make you think and like though he makes you think it's not like oh my gosh I need to think too hard it's like no this is practical knowledge you should know this and it's it's not like sassy but it is kind of sassy and I just I like I'm kind of sassy myself so I really enjoyed like the whole the whole context of this book so definitely recommend it definitely we'll start reading more Brenning Manning um anyways and like it's interesting because he's such a um he's been around a very long time and I know I've heard of him before because I mean I went to school for a long time um doing that kind of stuff and so I know I've heard of him I just hadn't ever read him or maybe I have and I've just forgotten which is very plausible I do that all the time um but I definitely would recommend him definitely a good read definitely makes you think definitely is not like controversial well Definitely not controversial to me. Like, I don't have, like, a awful feeling. Like, I'm, I don't know, awful feeling. Like, a feeling like, I don't know if I can entirely agree with that. Which I definitely get with Richard Rohr. Like, I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I totally agree with that. But definitely, I definitely agreed with a lot of the stuff he said. And a lot of the hard-hitting, but not, like, in-your-face kind of stuff. So it was really nice. It was a really nice read. Um. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you didn't, oh well. And if you did, please subscribe. Anyway, y'all have a great day.